I don't wander off, Aurora. We got a lot to do today, and we still need to head by the embroidery warehouse before 3 p.m. Hey, Mom, can we get the one shaped like a car? I want to ride in the one like a car. Sorry, honey. I need one I can put your sister in. Hey, how about we get some soda, Mom? A soda sounds like a really good idea. Now, we already have soda at home, dear. Oh, just the drink in the store, then? We don't need any soda, Aurora. I could use a new ball for only four bits. I think it's a pretty much a steal of a deal. Come on, sweetheart. Now, Mom, I need you to listen carefully because I'm about to lay down this very practical business proposal. Now, the cereal you see here, I know you don't like it as much as the sense of all cereal flakes, but I think we should give it a try. The box has got entertainment value. If you look on the back of the box, there's a comic for me to read. And while it looks like the punchline is that the cereal mascot really likes the cereal, there is also an advertisement for a free toy. There's no additional cost, and in today's economy, we, we can't afford to be paid for new toys all the time. Now, it does contain marshmallow bits. In fact, it is entirely a cereal of marshmallow bits. But it says here that it can be a complete breakfast of marshmallow bits. Also, the box is green, and I think we both can agree that that is... Oh God, how long have I been standing here? I was enjoying the cereal so much that time lost all meaning. Oh no, I knew it! My mom's already come and gone with the cereal choice. We parked right here. There is still time! I, I can still cut my mom off of the embroidery warehouse. Oh, excuse me, but you wouldn't happen to know where the next bus arrives, would you? 2.15, I think? Did we miss the bus, maybe? It's 2.15 right now. I've been here a few minutes, so we haven't missed it yet. What if the bus came early? If they came like five or six minutes ago and we weren't here to see it, maybe we did miss the bus and we are never going to know. Oh, there it is! You are late, my good sir. I think you could certainly stand to be a bit more punctual, because I am in pretty big hurry out here. Excuse me, sir, you forgot to pay for your daughter? Sir? <sighs> Excuse me, little girl, are your parents not with you? Excuse me, weird adults talking to a little kid. I'm supposed to avoid stranger danger situations. For that, I need myself a pretty wide bubble without any strangers in it. Now, are you going to have a stranger danger situation? Thank you. I can tell by the lack of proximity to me that you are probably okay, adults. Kid, hey, where are your parents? In the store, mister. No thanks to you. Because of your slow driving, I am nearly late. I said you ought to be more punctual, but you didn't listen. I'm supposed to be at this stop by 2.40. Oh, well, then I'm sorry. 
You don't think that was our bus, do you? Nah, they're supposed to wait if they get here early. Well, I hope so. The next bus doesn't come by for another half hour. Uh, mister! Uh, mister, you gotta help me! I, I've lost my mom! Oh, it's alright, little girl. What's your mom's name? Nitty Needles! <laughs> Miss Nitty Needles, we have your daughter. Please come to the front of the store, Miss Nitty Needles, we have your daughter. Miss Nitty Needles, please come to the front of the store. We have your daughter. Miss Needles? I swear I did not abandon my daughter. Really, I have no idea how she got in the embroidery warehouse. See, now this is some pretty good cereal, it turns out. I can't believe that this is a balanced breakfast. I mean, why do ponies even eat sensible cereal flakes? Oh, cool, I found a sticker, and it's one of the Wonder Boats. Which one of them do you think it's supposed to be? Uh, I think that's Soren. Thank <laughs> you.